you can play around, but somebody already figured out it's easier to, if you just do it this way. So we'll, we'll start making rules for that. But actually for any other time, really you need to just be playing and figuring out what is possible for you. And on the second count for that, when you're in any kind of movement practice, Every sport has a perfect set of rules, and you know people will say every type of movement has a perfect set of rules. If you want to do it absolutely perfectly, and every single person, every human that tries it is not built to match that. There's no, uh, let's take the fastest runner in the world, Usain Bolt. Well, a perfect runner by mechanical standards uh, probably has a nice straight spine with a perfect S-curve in it. Well, Usain Bolt had actually quite severe scoliosis and uh, still ended up being the fastest person in the world. So he didn't train the exact perfect way for that sport because that wasn't going to work for him. He's going to have to train how somebody with scoliosis is going to train for that sport. And by trying to just follow the set rules and parameters, even though it should be quite clear to most people that they don't look like the people who are uh, prescribing those those things like those people do it because they already look like that because they already act like that um yeah you don't match that person you're gonna have to train in a different way yeah and even if your aspiration is to match that person you're starting from a different start point so you need to train differently every brain every body is different so what works for that one person as we said at the start I will guarantee you will not work for you. Even the people that it looks like it has worked for will either A, have had to do something slightly different to fit themselves, or B, are very close, but they're probably not exactly like that person. You know, the same as when it comes to movement. No movement in the world is exactly replicatable. Replicatable? Uh, Maybe. Can do more than once. <laughs> exactly. This is why we didn't get into literature. Yes, this is why we don't write for a living. Uh, but like no movement ever can be exactly replicated. It's impossible. So even when it comes to exercise prescription and like the perfect squat or the perfect bench press, there's degrees in this, and that all depends on the individual. Every person is totally different. So even following the same training plan will give you different results. Yeah, that's uh, one of the big things. Uh, really great book to read. The kind of emphasizes that range by David Epstein. David Epstein? Um, not David Epstein. <laughs> the eye is one way versus the other way. Um, but yeah, in range he kind of looks at how we've thought that repetition is the key to, to learning and actually it's variation that is the key to learning yeah. and even when you repeat the same thing as precisely as you possibly can something something check your food is slightly more digested yeah. and so there's better energy going to one place than another or yeah. you're happy you're happier about how the last attempt went than how the one before that went so actually your mood is now different and the brain like when the brain's taking all this information every single time it's something slightly different and uh, when you take a lot of sports and activities, the amount that they're different in each go is absolutely huge. So yeah. he sets some examples about how there's not very many things that you can get good at when you're really, really young. And that Rubik's Cube actually turns out to be one of those things because there are more aspects of the Rubik's Cube that is just case dependent and so you can there you can just learn different algorithms and just got different combinations. At the end of the day, you still have a lot of movement to do, so uh, there's a variation that's definitely useful. Uh, probably the least variable sport would be chess, where uh, you know you're going to move the pieces with your arms, but really, yeah. getting getting better movement durability isn't going to improve yeah. your game to that much. Where actually just playing loads and loads of chess isn't going to help. So chess, yeah. you can learn movement from... ability for their eyes watching the opponent. You know that. High level chess player actually they track the eyes and they watch the center of the board. Yeah, well, so they, they, can, can they can pick up the stuff, but yeah. probably you can pick that up from five years old and just run with it. Yeah. It's, it's just learn right information, but every other sport, uh, you know, you're playing golf, it's just hit the ball well, you got to know the weather, the opponents, yeah. the, all of it is constantly changing all the time. Yeah, it's the 
I, I like to call it like I I find teaching anybody anything in person is like the repetition of variability. If that makes sense, mm. you want to do the repetition. You need the repetition, but you also need to process and understand the variability aspect. So if you let's say I don't know kicking a football, so you're kicking a football, you need to go through it enough so that to a minute detail, your brain can pick up all the variations that you've done pretty much of all the kicks ever so that it can tell if it's a good one or it's a bad one it takes in environmental changes your brain is processing integrating that all at the same time you come out with an output of where to kick the ball for example so the wind on your arms you know the wind in your hair um you know the wind in your clothes the clothes against you the feel of the ground underfoot if you only do something once you getting the variables and understanding that in the brain and integrating that and the good output is very, very slim. But if you get the repetition, so you've done it through all the variables, there's a higher chance that you're going to be successful when you do the actual act. So that's generally why I try to explain it to people, which isn't very good because I'm not great at explaining things. That's I just cool. go on for ages. But do you get what I'm saying? It's you need to do all the variations yeah. through repetition.